I hope you enjoyed coding with us. As and always, coding involves practice, as we have been stressing. Programming involves uh, you to code very frequently, as much as possible, and not just um, code whatever we tried coding in the terminal. You probably were parallel coding, but it, it is also important that you code a little more than uh, what we have tried coding this week. That is that is the only way in which you will get comfortable with programming. So here we are. We'll uh, address a few frequently asked questions, rather concerns that a uh, student who is trying to program or learn programming for the first time faces. Although Python is very, very, very programmer friendly, I didn't mean to exaggerate it, indeed is the most programmer friendly uh, language that I am aware of from my little experience of programming from the past 15 to 20 years. I, I find Python really, really easy to understand. I wish Python was there, was the first programming language that I learned. Unfortunately, it wasn't. Um, so uh, here are some questions which I will go one by one. Feel free to ask your questions on the forum in case you have more questions than what we have addressed. I can't remember the syntax. I find it difficult to remember several keywords that Python requires. This is the question. So to address this, yes, I am with you people. Of course, it's going to be difficult. In fact, Python is a lot more than what one can understand, maybe even in a lifetime, right? I mean, that, that's, so is any programming language, but then, Try to see the analogy with any other language. Look at your own mother tongue. Do you know all the words in your mother tongue? Or do you think your vocabulary is full in the sense that there is no word uh, left out? Obviously not. No, but then you, you are aware of most of the words, which is enough for you to converse in your day-to-day -day life. Right? Similarly, as with Python, it is enough if you learn a few few things, I mean, which will help you, you know, uh, open up the world of possibilities eventually. But then, as you are learning these few things, you will stumble upon the exact syntax. I mean, you, will, you would not know how to write a piece of code. For instance, uh, we discussed strings, uh, right? There, 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 there were a few functions that we used. There were a few keywords that we used to sort of manipulate strings. Uh, it wasn't very easy for us to remember them. Right, I mean, but then with time you will start remembering them. And you always have internet to look up. You can even have a small cheat code, I mean, um, 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 uh, 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 the cheat book, cheat sheet that you can keep so that you can write down all the uh, syntax that is frequently used and then, you know, look them up as, as often as, as it's required. But then in a nutshell, you need not worry. This is a very, very frequently occurring problem. Everybody complains that it's too much to remember, but with time you will start remembering. I get errors when I'm programming and I find them very irritating. So everybody does get um, errors, even, even very people who are very proficient with programming tend to miss out a few things when they are coding. Syntax errors are very common. As you saw, uh, in a simple print statement, if you miss out on closing the bracket, it throws up an error, right? This is very common. You should get used to it. Uh, nobody is a a perfect programmer and you will indeed make errors here and there and uh, Python in fact in fact helps you by telling you what exactly is the error there not always though but most of the times you will get to know where you are making an error and you can rectify it immediately so to answer your question this is completely normal you should get used to it a programmer's life involves Fixing the errors more than writing the code. <laughs> so th this is how uh, a programmer's life is. And uh, you're entering into the world of programming. So you should get used to not getting upset with errors. Why are we learning Python? Why not any other language XYZ? Uh, that's a good question. Of course, we are free to teach or learn any language. But then the reason, as we stated, the reason why we took Python is that Python is very easy to learn, easy on the mind for a person who is trying to program for the first time, very powerful, much sought after. The entire world today is talking in the language of uh, Python and um, uh, you know most of the jobs are open for Python programmers in my humble observation and most importantly, I would say if I were to restart, I mean, if I were to uh, start my studenthood and assuming I didn't know programming, I would definitely start with Python for a simple reason that most of the open source softwares today, assuming you want to do something uh, creative, 
and you need to uh, look up if someone has done that already, right? Mostly that program will be in Python. It will not be in any other language. This is my observation, right? So, which means that if you learn Python, you have millions and millions of open source projects available for you. Millions and millions of library functions readily available for you to uh, pick and then simply use, right? That's probably the reason why we thought Python would be a good programming language to start. But then uh, one is free to learn any other programming language. But the point is, once you learn one programming language, trying to learn a second programming language isn't very difficult. It is just like learning a second language. First language is a, as, a, as an infant, uh, you and me probably found it very difficult. It took a long time, but then an immediate second language wasn't really very difficult. So once you learn Python, for instance, if, if, if you do not know C or C++, you learn Python really well, start coding, understand what is uh, logical thinking, how to, uh, what is programming logic, and eventually you will see that learning C and C++ is only a matter of knowing the equivalent syntax in that language which you have already learned. So uh, Python that way uh, gets you started. Uh, as a beginner, I, I don't think there's, it's, it's easier for one to learn a uh, programming language like, uh, like Pascal or C or C++. Python is relatively easier. That's the reason why we thought one should learn Python. And, and, and that's the reason why we are teaching you all Python as the first programming language. How do I efficiently learn coding? How do I get better at coding? So the answer to this is, as and always, how do I get better with a sport, um, let's say table tennis or chess or uh, um, let's say badminton. Uh, the answer has always been practice makes one perfect, right? So you may want to practice as obvious as it can get, um, but then while practicing, there are a few tips that we can give you. Number one is, it is important for one to Type a piece of code for a particular question repeatedly. That, that, that's one skill that I think uh, would come very handy for a beginner, wherein just in case you are given a question to, uh, let's say, um, you know, sort a few numbers, you will be seeing these uh, programs eventually. Although we did not cover it in the first week, we'll be seeing uh, sorting of numbers is something that is taught in the first few days of uh, programming. You will see that, you know, sorting numbers, writing a piece of code can actually be daunting for a beginner. Now, but then, once you finish writing the code, you should not move to the next program, in my humble opinion. You should open the browser, open the um, 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 compiler, and uh, open the editor, and then type the code afresh. Right? You should repeatedly do a code for the same question multiple times. I mean, of course, by not looking up the code that you typed already, but assuming that you have forgotten the code, you should try um, redoing it. This is a very nice way in learning how to um, get good at coding for a beginner especially. The reason is the following. The reason is we addressed a question of syntax, remembering the syntax, right? When you are typing a piece of code, there are two things that um, makes your life difficult. One is the syntax, remembering them. And second thing is the logic itself. First one, you will get used to with time. You will understand what is what. You will understand Python keywords and you will be proficient with programming. But then logic, you know, it, it's very question dependent. Okay, you also will learn logic with time. Logical thinking also comes with time. Once it's like seasoning your mind, you will do it slowly. But then the first one, the syntax is actually memory based comes with time, but logic takes more time uh, for one to learn, right? But when you do the same piece of question, same question, multiple times, you will, number one, you will not worry about the syntax. Number two, you will worry only about the logic. That's the reason why you want to solve the same problem multiple times. So how do we go about it? Take a question, try writing a piece of code, and then, you know, open the editor once again, and do it once more, and do it three or four times and try to take a program that is slightly longish. I mean, you don't want to do a two-line code multiple times. It doesn't make sense, right? This is a good way in which you can get good at programming with time.